In our health alert tonight, are your fingers and toes sensitive to cold weather? If so, you might have a blood vessel disorder called Raynaud's disease. Our chief health editor, Dr. Parthenandi, joining us to explain this condition. And Doc, first of all, why does this happen? So Glenda, you know, we've all been there at some point. In the middle of winter, outside shoveling snow or walking your dog or taking part in outdoor activities, and your hands and toes start to feel numb, right? And then feel cold. Now that's your body's normal response as it tries to conserve heat. But for folks who have Raynaud's disease, the cold causes their blood vessels to overreact, so they shrink and narrow more than normal and a whole lot faster. And what happens is not enough blood supply gets to the surface of the skin, which then can cause the affected areas to turn white or blue. Now, it mainly affects the fingers and, and toes, but in some folks, in some people, the nose, ears, and lips are affected. Now, this is quite rare when that happens. You know, Doc, this yeah. happens to me quite often when I'm out there shoveling the snow or playing, you know. Can Raynaud's actually be dangerous? So, Alan, for most people, it's more annoying than dangerous. And the affected areas can feel numb or prickly, and as they warm up, you know, throbbing, stinging, and tingling might be felt. Personally, I, I don't have Raynaud's, but some of my patients do and some of my family members do, so I've heard it can be quite painful. Now, in some cases, Raynaud's can be dangerous. You could end up with a blocked artery, and that leads to skin sores or ulcers, or you might end up with gangrene, which is dead tissue, but I want to emphasize this is very rare. So if you feel like your coldness is extra and you feel like you may have this, what do you do? So Glenda, if you have Raynaud's, you want to know what type you have. So the more common and mild type is called primary Raynaud's. The other is secondary Raynaud's or Raynaud's phenomena. This type is caused by an underlying problem, another problem like lupus or rheumatoid arthritis, also called RA, and it's usually more serious. So be sure to talk to a doctor about your symptoms. In the meantime, be sure to bundle up, Alan, when you go outdoors and head yeah. back when you start to feel cold. Pretty important problem. Lots of folks have it, so it's good to, if you think you have it, see your doctor, and they'll, they'll hopefully help you with that and get to the bottom of it. Some great tips, Dr. Nandy. Thank you so much. My pleasure. If you have a question or health concern for our good doctor, email him, drnandy at askdrnandy.com, or send it to us on Facebook or Twitter. We'll get it right to him. Still to come.